Are you a hairstylist and you need a simple and easy way to create content for your social media channels? Well, this is the video for you. I am Ebony Looney and I am here to show you how to create a month of posts using Canva in this video. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and the channel for more tips on how you can create social media content for your beauty business. Creating your content in Canva as a stylist, from the Canva home screen, you can select create a design. And from there, you can search the type of template you want. So for this, we're gonna just choose Instagram post. And it's going to open up another window with a blank canvas. It's gonna be unti an untitled design. So what we wanna do is uh, perhaps name the design. So we're gonna say March 2022 um, post for stylus. Now over to your left, you'll see templates, elements, uploads, etc. So for us, because we're hairstylists or you're a hairstylist, you want to type in hair and you'll see what comes up. You notice I put in recent was hair, hair salon, motivation hair, but let's just type in hair. And this is going to bring up all the templates in Canva that are geared toward hair, or if you wanted to type in beauty. Now, the type of post that I recommend you have, of course, one is a promotional post. So we're gonna choose one of these that represents um, our branding. So I'm just gonna choose this one. This could be day one. And then of course, we can customize it uh, by, by choosing colors from our brand kit to represent our brand. And then if I wanted to switch out the photo here, I can either edit the image or I can go over to elements and choose maybe, let's just say, you know, maybe your salon, you wanna show blonde hair. So we under elements, we're gonna click blonde. And then if I choose a photo, I can slide that over, make some adjustments, so forth and so on, like so. So we're gonna choose an image that represents what we're trying to show. Then if I wanted to duplicate this particular file with a different promotion. I'm just gonna click duplicate page. Then maybe I can switch out the photo with another photo of a type of hairstyle that we do. Or maybe for the second one, you wanna show like a hair salon for the promotion. And so you just slide that over using the images like so, something like that you know, just indicating that. And then you type in what your promotion is and you can change the color. Now the idea is if you did four of these, and let's just say you did a promotion every Friday. So you would have, you would duplicate, duplicate, switch out the pictures, and then all your Friday promotions are done. Friday is done. So then we're gonna go to another day Monday, Monday, I would just, I wanna do some motivations. Motivational posts, so I'm gonna put in motivation. <laughs> let's see what comes up. Well, that's under photos actually, so let's actually go to templates and type in motivation. And I'm going to choose one of the motivation templates that I can use. Um, and then of course, just like what we did before, we wanna switch out the photos to represent something that our clients can relate to. Because remember, your posts are really for your clients. So I'm just gonna switch out the photo there, change the colors with our brand, so forth and so on you know, type in your site name. The other nice thing is you can, uh, you know, change the transparency on it so that you can actually see the quote. And so we would kind of do the same thing that we did before. So if we're gonna do, if there's four Mondays, right, we're gonna duplicate each page there, and then your four Mondays are done. And so now you have eight, different post for the month, <laughs> right? So the reason why we want to schedule, we want to create content for each day and do duplicate days because it just makes it easier. And all we're doing is switching out 
the image for that particular day. And then maybe switching out the type of quote. The quote could be something that you say that you tell your clients to motivate them. So we continue in this whole process for each day of the week. So let's just go through it. So another type of post that you want to show is, um, I would say, a behind the scenes. So something where you're actually working. You can choose one of these stock photos or you can choose a photo that you upload uh, to Canva yourself that you use. Or this could be an opportunity for you to use a video, maybe a stock video um, that you have or uh, a video um, that you've actually taken in the salon. You can do a reel. And it's the same type of process. Now, of course, um, this is the square version, so you're not going to be able to record the reel right here, but this just kind of gives you an idea. Now, another type of post that I like and I'm gonna go to templates here, is tips posts. Now, tips, if you share tips to your page for your ideal client and they like it, they will probably share it. So in Canva, if you type in tips, it's gonna, going to bring up different templates that already have the worst tips on it. And then what you could do is switch out the photo to represent who your client is, whether it's your photos um, that you've taken, and then you would write your tips. So here, tips, growing a beard for men, um, whatever your tip is that you normally help your clients do. And then you go through the same process of duplicating that particular template over and over again, changing out the images to represent your business, and then you have... Um, more content. So let's say we did tips on uh, Tuesday, right? So we duplicate that. And there's four Tuesdays in the month. Now we have our 13 posts for the month. So you do this over and over again until you have 30 posts uh, for the month. Now, if you want to do more tips, you don't, you can, don't just have to do them on Tuesday. You can do them, maybe you do, do two tips a week. Um, on another day. So you can take those same type of tips there and you can duplicate those four pages and there it is. You have 17 different types of posts. Now when you download from Canva, you click the download button and then you download either a PNG or JPEG, it's going to download into a zip file and then from there, from the zip file, you'll have these individual images that you've uh, created. And then from there, you can upload them uh, using um, a scheduler of your choice. I personally like using um, either the Facebook scheduler for Instagram and Facebook um, or Buffer or whichever one you choose. Now, if you do decide to use Canva to schedule, the only thing that I, you know, the downside with that is when you click schedule for a day, let's just say we scheduled uh, for Saturday at three, right? You select the channel that you want here. Let's just say uh, Facebook here. We choose one. You would you know, deselect all of these and just choose the one. To me personally, I do think it's a little hassle. I like just downloading all my images, but some people prefer to use it here. So you can, you can write something and schedule the post, but the, it's kind of, it's kind of glitchy. <laughs> so I don't necessarily recommend it. It's just easier to go back in. It's asking me to, uh, to save it, but it's easier personally for me to just download it as a zip file and then upload it one by one to Facebook or my scheduler of choice. Uh, it just gives you a little bit more control. Thank you for checking out my channel today where I talk about camp tips for stylists. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you in the next video.